Here in this video, we're going to cover bulk scheduling in LMN. And in this particular video, we're going to cover bulk scheduling as you'd use it for weekly services. So stuff like mowing or maybe bed maintenance, even if it's every other week, but regular recurring services. If you're looking on bulk scheduling for things like uh, irrigation startup and shutdown or fertilizations, we're going to call those scheduling for irregular services. It's a different video. Those are things where you don't maybe have a hard date. Uh, so they're a little trickier to schedule. We'll cover those in a different video. This one's going to cover things like mowing, where we're going to go every week or like bed maintenance, where you might go every week or every third week. Let's take a look now at how bulk scheduling works. So we'll dive right into LMN. Bulk scheduling is the easiest way to schedule a whole bunch of jobs at once. What you're going to be able to do here is pick a service like mowing and plot all the jobs with that service on a map. Then I'll be able to select a few of those jobs and schedule them all at once. So I don't have to schedule each one independently. And we'll be able to flex my schedule. So if uh, one job gets uh, 30 cuts a year and another job gets 32 cuts a year, we can do that all in one single process. I'll show you how it works. Before we get into how it works, let's look at what you need to set up first. First of all, you're going to need visit types. So visit types are the services that you're going to schedule. And here on their visit types, we're going to, I'm going to do a mowing calendar. So I, I want to make sure I've got a visit type for mowing. So here I've got one up here called cut mow. So great, we've got that in place. Next thing you're going to need is a work calendar. A work calendar is like a template for a schedule. Let's take a look at one. Again, because we're going to do mowing, I'm going to go to my work calendar for mowing. And I've got a few default fields here, unproductive hours per visit, default crew size, etc. But what I'm really looking at here is the visit schedules. And here you can see for our mowing, we have three different types of available schedules. I've got a bronze package, a silver package, and a gold package. Gold packages get more cuts. So if I open the silver one as an example, it's set up here so that we start on April 2nd, it ends on August, or sorry, October 28th. We go every week and we do mowing. This is that schedule visit type that I just showed you in the previous step. So that's why we needed to make sure that was set up so we can set it up here. So every week it's gonna set up this visit type called mowing. And obviously if it was bed maintenance or something, I can change this to every other week. We're not gonna pick the weekday yet, that comes later. We've got everything in place now though for bulk scheduling. That's it, you need these two things set up first. And if you do have multiple packages on mowing, you may wanna have them all set up before we go to this next step. The next step is bulk scheduling. So we're gonna click this on the left-hand side. Now we can bulk schedule our work. So the first thing you're gonna do on this side is likely see a map on your screen. That's a map of your current location or your shop's location. What you want to do is start by filtering all jobs. So if you just want to drill your jobs down to a specific city, area, or route, and you've already set those up as job groups, you can drill that down here. Or if you want to grab all your jobs with mowing, you just leave that at all jobs. Now I'm going to find all jobs or a job in a group with the mowing service. So now I'm going to pick the service. I'm going to go look at my job services. So in order for it to know that this job has mowing, it looks at the services on that job to see is there anyone with, and I've called that service mow done. So it's going to look and find all the jobs that have a service assigned to that job called mow done. And your services you're going to set up in your settings and under the services menu in the settings screen if you haven't done that yet. Now, schedule visit type. I've got to pick because what this is going to do is look for all jobs with this service that aren't already on the schedule. So it needs to know the schedule visit type. I'm going to go back to my cut mow there, the one we started with. Now it's going to look for anything with visits after a specific date. I'll just pick April 1st and it's going to hide stuff that's already been scheduled or not. That's the choice here. So if hide scheduled means hide all the jobs that already have scheduled visits, yeah, uh, that would be yes. No means no, show me everything. So I'll click search and all the jobs that we have with mowing show up as little white pins on the map. When I'm scheduling weekly services, I'm usually, especially in a bulk, remember you're gonna pick a weekday and, and you might wanna pick a crew. So I don't really wanna schedule all my mowing jobs all at once because they're gonna be on different days. So in my head, I'm thinking, let's find the jobs that we can do on Monday, or even better, let's find the jobs we can do on Monday for crew A or whatever your crew names are. So let's zoom into this area here. So we're gonna hit control and we're gonna zoom in with our mouse. You can also zoom in with these buttons down here. I'm gonna select these jobs here as my mowing jobs for Monday. So in order to select them, you can click the points. And once they turn green, you know they're selected. Note the legend down here, white is unscheduled, yellow is already scheduled. 
green is selected. So I can click them and select them, but it's even faster for selecting a group if you use this cool tool. It says select jobs via polygon. So I'm gonna click that. And now I'm gonna draw an area, big circle or rectangle or whatever you want around the jobs that you wanna select. And then just go down here and pick the select contained jobs button. Once all these jobs turn green, great, they're selected and you're ready to schedule. So now I'm gonna go down here and say schedule selected jobs. If you wanna unselect a job, you can either click it or you can choose the minus button over here. So I'm gonna go set schedule, we're good to go. And now I can see all my jobs here. Now in order to schedule the jobs, I have to pick a task. And the reason I have to pick a task is that's what the estimated hours are assigned to. So when it schedules, it has to calculate roughly how long we're gonna be there. So it needs the task to do that. Now you can go through each one of these jobs and pick the task. That's a heck of a, I click faster. If you go up task name contains, and you don't have to type the whole description, but if I just type Mo and then I click off it, it'll go find any task with Mo in it and automatically select that one. So that just made it a lot faster for me. I've automatically selected most of my tasks. For this one, I had it called property maintenance. So I had to click that one manually, but that was a lot easier than clicking them all individually. Now, next thing I got to pick up here is the visit schedule. So what are we scheduling? So what do I want to do? And I may have some jobs with bronze, some with silver, some with gold. So I'm going to pick the one that's most frequent. If I just take a look back here, most of my jobs here have 30 visits. So I'm going to pick the silver, the 30 cuts. Now right here, what it's going to do is highlight in red the jobs that have a different amount of scheduled visits than my, than my schedule has cuts. So here, Tudor Park, for example, it was estimated or set up for 31 visits but I'm trying to add it to a mowing calendar that only has 30 cuts. So it's highlighting this in red. So these red ones are the ones you wanna fix. And all I need to do to fix them is realize that, okay, this job is 31 cuts. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna assign that to my gold package because my gold package is 31 cuts. And I'll do the same for this and this and these two here. Great, now these are all uh, not red, which is really important. That means my estimated visits in my task match the scheduled number of visits I'm about to schedule. Next up, we wanna pick a manager. So if you can assign a manager, that's great. Uh, if you don't need to assign a manager, that's okay too. We're gonna to pick a starting date. So the starting date is the day the schedule will start on. So interestingly enough here, I've created mowing schedules that start in April, but I'm filming this video on May 31st. So it's gonna to default to only schedule mowing past the 31st. And the reason for that is why would we wanna schedule all the April dates? They've already passed. There's no need to do that at this point. But if I wanted to, I certainly could back this date up and do that. But at this point, I wouldn't need to do that. I'm just gonna schedule everything going forward. Now, if all these jobs are gonna be done by the same crew, we can pick a crew. Or if they're gonna be done by different crews, I'll just leave them as unassigned and I'll drag and drop them on the whiteboard later. Weekday. Well, if you're doing a weekly schedule, you're gonna to wanna to pick the weekday. So I can pick any weekday here that's gonna to apply to this schedule. So if this is my Tuesday route, I'll just pick my Tuesday. So what it's gonna do is schedule these jobs every week from the start date to the end date on the Tuesday, but it's gonna leave the crew as unassigned. Over here, it's gonna calculate the duration. So it's taking the estimated hours here from each task, dividing it by the number of visits and coming up with the estimated time on each site for the cut. If it doesn't look right to you, you can go right here and change the man hours. The only reason it wouldn't be right is if somebody didn't enter or made a mistake on the estimated hours here. Now you'll notice this says three hours. That's how many hours I estimated for the cut, but it's only gonna, it's gonna schedule three hours and 15 minutes. Why would that be? Remember when we set up our work calendar, there was a field for unbillable time. So what, or unproductive time it's actually called. So what that's actually gonna do is add a little bit of estimated time to your visits for things like driving or unloading the truck or loading the truck. And that's an option for you. If your work calendars have unproductive time, your schedule duration will be slightly longer than your man hours. That's totally normal. That's what it's supposed to do. Now I'm happy with all this. I'm gonna go down here to schedule. So I click that. It's gonna ask me to look for three things. So one, make sure every job has a correct visit schedule. So that means make sure the estimated visits are matching our scheduled visits, which means this isn't red. That's really important because if you accidentally take a customer who you've scheduled or sold 30 visits and you add them to a calendar of 31 visits, see it's gonna be red here, that means they're gonna get a cut for free because I've actually scheduled 31 cuts but I only set up their job for 30 cuts. 
So you really want to make sure that you're applying the right visit schedule to each job. Do that carefully. Next, make sure your crew has been assigned correctly. We did that. And then also make sure your man hours have been set or defaulted correctly. We talked about that as well. When you're ready to go ahead, type confirm, then hit continue. And it'll think for a couple of seconds. And then right now I just scheduled 312 visits in just a couple of seconds for 12 different jobs for my entire year. So it basically built my mowing calendar out for the entire year. So now if I go to one of those jobs, anyone will do. And here I've got Misty Park and I open up that one and I go to the schedule. You'll see I've got a schedule created for mowing 30 cuts. If I go to the details, all 30 visits for that time period have been uh, scheduled. Well, in fact, this one's only 26 visits and the reason being again, because we only started the schedule in May. Again, we didn't schedule all that April stuff. But that's it, I've just scheduled for 12 or 14 jobs the entire year's mowing. And uh, we did a couple hundred visits all scheduled in just a couple of seconds. That's it, that's scheduling made fast and easy. If you got any questions, be sure to hit us up on live chat or visit goelmn.com slash help or email us at advice at goelmn.com. Or if you got questions about scheduling things without a weekly schedule, things like cleanups or fertilizer, um, then make sure you check out the video called Bulk Scheduling for Irregular Services. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in another video.